Cybersecurity in the recent times, in the last five or 10 years, have been very active in the industrial controls. The attacks have been on the OT side or on the operational technology sides in order to have an impact on the operations of what we call the critical infrastructure around the world. And anything that can really have a negative impact on the operation or on the country's economy or on their safety. There are more and more actors out there that are interested in uh, taking out specific targets. We see the IT space being kind of crowded out in, uh, in the face of attacks. So so they are looking for new attack surfaces. Uh, industrial control systems are quite vulnerable. These are very often unpatched systems using typically technologies where the focus hasn't been on securing the systems, rather on making the systems operate 24-7. What Securenock and Siemens together have done is to use expertise in industry to create a cybersecurity solution that is adapted to industrial purposes. So we have developed a product called SNOC Cybersecurity Monitoring System. The system integrates both the network IDS functionality and the equipment monitoring of Windows and Linux boxes. SNOC is designed to look for subtle changes and detect security events that might take a while for traditional cybersecurity tools to discover. We can go deep into systems, we can look for attacks where they actually make an impact, not just in the perimeter between IT systems and industrial control systems. And that enables the owner of the industrial infrastructure that we're monitoring to take responsive actions to a cyber attack before it's too late. Siemens Rugged.com products is a perfect platform to host the SecureNOC cybersecurity monitoring system. Uh, this platform is designed to be uh, deployed in remote locations. It is rugged, it has numerous communication options, and that's really what enables us to do the early stage detection of a cybersecurity attack. There's a set of security policies and we will alert on security policy violations. That could be new communication patterns happening, that could be insertion of USB sticks, changing of, uh, of the install base software, changes of firewalls, things like that. Then we look at anomalies that uh, happens both in the network traffic, meaning exceeding limits, going beyond the allowable limits. Finally, we look at the behavioral anomalies as well. We model that behavior and detect anomalies that are outside of that expected behavior. It's very important to keep an eye on what's going on in your infrastructure and be able to take action on that before it costs you money. Cybersecurity challenges are continually changing. We're working together jointly to develop what is going to be the next big thing or to get this into a more robust environment for cybersecurity attacks which will happen in the future. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.